Hey everyone, welcome back to JS Cafe. And in this video, we are going to solve the problem longest common subsequence. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so uh, in this question, uh, you'll be given uh, two strings which is str1 and str2 and in this problem you have to uh, figure out you have to compute the length of the common subsequence so by subsequence we mean that we can match the uh, characters between two strings which is common but we uh, can skip any characters which don't match and we cannot uh, change the order of that particular string for example in hometown we match character O, we match character M, but this E is not matching with K. So we skip both of them. We come to W, we see that T is not matching. We skip T, we skip O, and we come to W and we see that we see that W is matching. Then we move ahead and we match N and N is also matching. So this way we can see that O M W N is a uh, subsequence, common subsequence between str2 and str1. And the length of this subsequence is 4. O M W N which is 4. Okay. So what we learn that we can skip characters which don't match, but we cannot change the order of the matching. And in this question, we have to return the uh, length of this subsequence with the longest subsequence. Okay. So we are going to solve this question using a dynamic programming. And for that, uh, we will, we have created a DP table. And in this DP table, we have one extra low row and one extra column where we have filled that particular row and column with zeros. And we will see why. So let's start matching and we have this O and H. So O and H, they are not matching. So what we have to do is we have, we can either skip O or skip H. So if we skip O and we have only H, then we don't have anything to compare on a string to. Okay. And if we skip H and we have only O, then we don't have anything to compare on a string one. So eventually the maximum, there is no common subsequence if we skip either of H or O. Okay. So this is the same case over here. We have O and we have H and we have to fill this uh, cell. Okay. And we saw that O and H are not matching, which means that we have to either skip O or we have to either skip H. So if we skip H, we come to this cell. Okay, no, there is nothing over here. And if we want to skip O, we come to this cell. Okay, and we have to take the maximum of these two cells because skipping any of these characters may, may produce a common subsequence and they might have different, they might have different length. Okay, but for in this case, for O and H, if we skip H, there is nothing to compare on a string one. If we st uh, skip O, there is nothing to compare on a string two. So in this case, the maximum common subsequence would be nothing but be zero. Okay. Now we move ahead to this cell. Now this cell means that we want to find the co maximum common subsequence for O and the, for the string O and for this particular string from here to here h and o okay so h and o and o okay so o and o is matching which means that we have found one common subsequence so we have one but we also want to uh, go to the previous step okay so we have one common subsequence now we want to skip this also and this also because we have already found one now we have to move uh, one character uh, before in the string two and one character before in the string one. So eventually moving back in both of the strings will lead up to this cell. Okay. So whatever value is there in this cell, it is representing the length of the longest common subsequence. Okay. So we just have to do a one plus to the value of this particular cell. 
So one plus of zero is one. Okay. We move ahead. Now we have to match H O M with O. So O and M is not matching. So we have to either skip O or we have to either skip M and we have to take maximum of the value which is obtained by either skipping O or either skipping M. So if we skip O, we come to this cell. So, okay. And the value is zero over here, which means that we don't have any subsequence, which is also correct because if we skip O, we don't have anything to compare. And if we skip M, which means that uh, we are coming to uh, this position, okay, this position over here, and we saw that we already had a common subsequence of length one. So even if we have this particular string H O M and O, and thus maximum common subsequence is still O, and the length is one. So here also the length will be one. Got it? So now let us formulate this rule that if the strings are not matching then we have to take the maximum of values from this cell or this cell and if the value is matching we just have to do one plus of value in the diagonal cell just above it okay so we come to this point we have o and e which is not matching so we take maximum of this value and this value which is one and o and t is not matching the maximum of this value and this value which is 1 O and O is matching so O and O is matching which means that we are going to do 1 plus of value of before it which is 0 so over here is 1 and O and W is not matching so maximum of this and this it is 1 N and O is not matching for maximum of this and this is 1 got it now we come to over this thing Next, we move to uh, next row. We have M and H not matching. Maximum of this and this. 0. M and O not matching. Maximum of this and this. 1. M and M matching. Maximum of M and M matching. So, 1 plus value of diagonal value. 2. M and E not matching. Maximum of this and this. 2. M and T not matching. 2. M and O not matching. 2. 2 and 2. Moving on to next row. We have K. K and H not matching, maximum of this and this, 0. K and O not matching, maximum of this and this, 1. K and M not matching, maximum of this and this, 2. K and E not matching. So, K is not matching basically anything. So, here all values would be 2, 2, 2 and 2. Okay, moving on to next row. W and H not matching. So, maximum of this and this, 0. W and O not matching, maximum of this and this, 1. W and M not matching, maximum of this and this, 2. W and E not matching, 2. W and T not matching, 2. W and O not matching, 2. W and W matching, so 1 plus value of this is 3. W and N not matching, so maximum is 3, maximum this 2. Moving on to next uh, next row, we have N and H not matching, maximum of this and this, 0. We have N and O not matching, so maximum of uh, this and this is 1. We have N and M, 2. Maximum of this and this is 2. N and E not matching, maximum of this and this, 2. N and T not matching, 2. 2. W and N not matching, maximum of this and this, 3. And N and N are matching, so maximum, so 1 plus value of this is 1 plus 3 is 4. So, the value at the very last uh, cell, the gives our answer, which is 4. So, we have, we have longest common subsequence of length 4, which is O, M, W and N. So this is how we fill our dp table and the value at the last index will tell us that the, the length of the common subsequence. So now let's have a look at the code. Okay, so here's the code. We have a function get lcs length and uh, we are accepting the two strings which we want to find the lcs for. We computed the length of str1, str2. We created a dp array, array which is of the length the rows are basically uh, n plus 1 filled with zeros and we map over each entry and again we create an array of length n plus 2 inside each uh, each element of the array and we fill them with 0. Fine. 
next we have a for loop iterating from 1 to n1 n1 is the length of the string 1 and we iterate from j is equal to 1 to n2 n2 is the string of the length 2 and we see compare that if the characters are matching of str1 and str2 at index i minus 1 and j minus 1 the indexes are i minus 1 and j minus 1 because the array is having an index one more than the length of the uh, length of n1 and n2 just to match the uh, string at the put correct uh, index we are doing i minus 1 and j minus 1 and if they are matched then we dp of i comma j is 1 plus of dp of i minus 1 and j minus 1 else uh, dp of i comma j, i and j is maximum of dp of i minus 1 of j or dp of i j minus 1 which means we have skipped uh, the ith uh, ith character and we have skipped the jth character and whatever was the maximum lcs length we take the maximum and come at the value and at the end we return the value of the last element of the uh, dp array the crime complexity of the solution is uh, big O of n1 cross n2 because we are looping n1 times and we are also looping n2 times in the inside the uh, outer for loop. So n1 is the length of uh, str1, n2 is the length of str2 and similarly we are ha having a space complexity of n1 cross n2 because we have created a dp array of the same size. Okay. So this was all uh, in this video, uh, see you in the next one.